Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked up recently, including what I picked up at Chiller Theater. Now, I did have uh, footage from Chiller Theater, but I got rid of it. There's nothing, you know, it's, it's boring and it was not worth uploading. So, uh, I'm going to show you everything I got at Chiller, but first I'm going to show you what I got, you know, not at Chiller. Um, actually, it's a mixture of both. So. I'll tell you if it's from Chiller or not. So first up we have the VHS. First up here I have Man of War Hell on Earth Part 1. I didn't find Part 2. I don't even know if there's a Part 2, but here's Part 1. Can't show you the back, but this is a phenomenal like band. Uh, definitely check them out. They're they're kind of they're metal, but they're they're kind of like I don't know how to say Viking metal, but they're kind of like, you know, all about swords and, and you know, fighting and stuff like that. It, it's, it's, they're, they're a really cool band. So I got that there, and the only other VHS I found while I was there was this uh, Peking Express, and it's a big box. The erotic story of intrigue in the Orient. And it just shows out in the back. It looks it looked like a pretty cool box. It's from VCR Presents. That's another thing that got me. I was like, oh, okay, I'll check that out. But uh, yeah, Peking. I don't know if it's Peking, Peking Express or Peking. I don't know. Whatever. But that's I got that one. And uh, now the rest of the VHS are all from like people I bought offline. And the first one here is Honeymoon Horror, or as I like to call it, Deadpool. I think it looks like Deadpool, but uh, Honeymoon Horror here, and uh, it's in very, very good condition from Sony. And uh, this other one here is Night Kill from Embassy Home Entertainment. Embassy Home Entertainment, if I could talk, and uh, very cool, very, very good uh, additions. Uh, very, 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 very. It's in good condition. Very good condition. The only thing I have to say is how it was sent. And I'm not going to say who sent it. But uh, they definitely need to learn not to send it in a, not a bubble envelope, not a bubble mailer, but a yellow envelope. And they were inside two um, hard shell cases like that. And I really don't, I see what they were going with, but that's just still not enough. You know, I sometimes think I overdo it. But with the way people send stuff out and the way the post office handles things, I don't think I have enough. And if you've ever received something from me, you know that I do a damn good job. I just wish people would follow that. But anyway, on to the next one here is Kids in the Hall Brain Candy. Love this movie. I love Kids in the Hall. I love everything they've done. And uh, this movie was is fantastic. It's like a cure for depression and then... All this shit happens with it. It's very funny. If you're into Kids in the Hall, I'm sure you've seen it. But uh, if you want a good comedy, that's a good one. And these two, actually, since I've had since my last update, and I forgot to show them. And I just had to throw them in here. But the first one here is Big Man on Campus. Still has the plastic on, but we're going to fix that. We're going to take the plastic off. Oh, it doesn't really... Oh, shit. <coughs> That's why it was on. God damn it. Oh well. I don't know why it's like that. The box is a little ripped on the bottom. That wasn't my fault. That they Somebody taped it on here. Oh, I didn't notice that. I tried to be a big shot, huh? And look what happens. Come on. Well, I got it off. And unfortunately, it was already damaged. I didn't do any of that. Like, there's tape under here yet, too. I didn't do any of that. I thought it was just plastic, and but you know whatever the tape's fine, and this was already there, so whatever. This is a a, a weird kind of like hunt, hunchback in Notre Dame or Notre Dame, however you say it, um, and he's his name is Bob Maluga Luga Luga Luga. Kind of a crazy movie, uh, and it's definitely a hidden gem. I I forgot about it until I saw somebody was selling it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get that, and it was cheap. And the other one I got here, and it's in, this is in really nice condition too, is Witchcraft 2, The Temptress. And it's, look, you can see how shiny it is. It's in very, very nice condition. And uh, now I have Witchcraft 1, and I think the last time I said I need Part 2, 
and I must have forgot I had it or something. I don't forget what it was, but now I can finally watch them, at least a bunch of them in order. I think I have like one through five or something like that. I don't remember, but I have a bunch. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to show you the what I got at Chiller. These are all from Chiller from the Full Moon booth. And, uh, you know, I love visiting that booth. I only ever got to see Charles Band once, and I am in a video uh, picking up the head of the family statues. Uh, it's somewhere out there, probably on their YouTube if you want to look for it. It's from, it's from uh, another Chiller event, so check that out. Uh, but the first one here I got is Robot Wars. I didn't, I, yeah, I did open these. I haven't watched any of them yet because I've been kind of just keeping them on the shelf until I made this video and it just took so long. But Robot Wars, I have no idea about the quality of these, but uh, here's Head of the Family. I've passed by this a few times in the couple conventions I've gone to, gone through too, and I never picked it up. You got Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball, Bolarama. I haven't seen this in a long time. But, you know, it has Brinky Stevens in it, uh, Linnea Quigley's in it, you know, a lot of, a lot of 80s ladies, 80s babes. And this one, Meridian. I have no idea. I, I haven't watched it. I have this on VHS as well, and I haven't watched it. And then this one, it, it just looked really cool. You know how they love their tiny creatures. But it's hideous, a.k.a. deformed freaks. I'm very sorry for that glare. Um can't do anything about it right now but that's all I picked up from them uh, I like that booth I know some people have problems with <clears throat> you know Charles Band and that but I, I like it and then the next up I have here some of these are from actually these are the ones from the booth I'll show them except for maybe a couple alright so anyway vinegar syndrome these are vinegar syndrome and uh, some of them are from the monthly package deals and some of them are from the booth actually at the convention which I try to get them to put out this one porn called F and that's all it's called F weird fucking porn but it has to be out there it has to come out on some other format besides VHS and Laserdisc I just, and it's very hard to find but anyway this is an F but this is Punk Vacation so I got that one and then I believe this was part of the one of the monthly deals. Her name was Lisa. That's a porn. Evils of the Night. Pretty cool. Looks cool. Got double exposure. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the slipcase with it. You know, they're pretty much sold out. But double exposure. We got China Girl. I don't know if this one has a slipcase. I don't think so. The Candy Tangerine Man. And bonus feature, Lady Coco. Pretty cool. And then, uh, because I got Babyface 2, the one package deal, uh, I had to get Babyface 1. Some of these were part of the Halfway to Black Friday sale as well. Um, so I'll sh the, these next couple, mostly, uh, I think, a couple, maybe two of them were, were from the Black Friday, Halfway to Black Friday sale. But then I don't think I showed these. But if I did, I'm sorry, but I'm going to show them again anyway, if I didn't. Uh, but the first one here, i got Blood Hook. I haven't got a chance to watch this, I'm telling you. I'm so far behind. Uh, we got Blue Vengeance. Very, very awesome slipcovers and, and stuff. Blood Suckers from Outer Space. This I have on VHS, and uh, I kind of like that they went with the same, like, kind of, because the VHS, the, t the cover is green and all that. And this is embossed on the side. It's very nice. Movie kind of sucks. <laughs> like I was watching, I'm like, oh my god, this is bad. But it was fun at the same time. So we got that. And then there's this one. Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. And these two are part of the um, the June bundle, you know, of the Blu-rays from, and one of the porns were too. But uh, part of the Blu-rays bundle from Vinegar Syndrome. And one here is Grave Robbers. It's a little shiny there, you can see. It's a little embossed as well. I uh, just got these in the other day, so I haven't gotten a chance to watch them. And Blood Theater. 
I can't remember. I heard one of them, somebody say that one of them wasn't that good. And these were part of, like, uh, these two were the, um, you know, it was a mystery of which what they were. You could, and you could only get them on the Halfway to Black Friday deal. And the first one they have here, actually, it's, it's you could look on either side, is Pets. And I really like that. I really like that cover and the embossed and that. Like, I think it's cool that you could put it either either way. They did that also with Terror. And um, that's a good idea, you know, because that way you could have it either way. And then this one, Deadly Daphne's Revenge. It's a pretty cool cover. They do really great work. I really, really do like Vinegar Syndrome. All right, moving on. Uh, this is all from Severin. The first one I didn't actually pick up from Severin, the Severin table at Chiller. I got this at another booth that they had, uh, you know, you pay, I don't know, six bucks, something like that, and you pick out a little skull, and whatever number's on the skull, that's the movie you got. Well, I ended up getting threads, and unfortunately it doesn't have the slipcase with it, with it, which is a pretty cool slipcase, but... They have the whole punches in there, and I didn't know that, but whatever. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not. Uh, but yeah, here, I got this uh, on another one. These are all from Severn. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know how you say his name, Bruno Mattei's uh, Violence in a Woman's Prison. And uh, I love prison movies and, you know, women prison movies, stuff like that. So i have to check that one out. And it's a nice, they, I love that they give black cases. This one here, you got Emmanuel. I have to cover it up. <laughs> Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. I actually got to watch this at Severed, and uh, for the first time ever. I think I actually bought this, and then I never, I didn't watch it. And then they had it at Severed. They were watching it at Severed, and and I was like, I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was like I wanted to get up a few times and leave, and then it's like no. I have to finish this movie. I don't know what it was, but I had to. Uh, this is actually from Synapse, and I think I did pick this up at the Vinegar Syndrome booth. I don't know. That's weird, right? But uh, it's Sorceress. Why did I say it like that? Sorceress. And, you know, Linda Blair's in it, and uh, what's her name? Uh, Julie Strain. Michael Parks. I don't know. But now I got it. All right, now we got here. This is from Severin, and this is The Devil's Honey. I've been eyeing this one up for a while, Lucio Fulci, um, but I haven't gotten it. And the trailer looked interesting, but I just never picked it up. These three I ordered, um, I don't, Severin's kind of expensive at times, and not everything they have I want, but I wanted these three, and, you know, I've just wanted them, I don't know, but I got Zombie 3 on Blu-ray here. That glare sucks, I'm so sorry. There, I kind of fixed it. Zombie 3, I got that one here, and then they had Zombie 4, and I've heard nothing but bad things about them, but then there's this one, this like Italian Terminator 2, and it's also called, this is Bruno Mattei, or however you say his name, it's also called Shocking Dark, but it's pretty cool, yeah, it's uh, from director Bruno, Mat I don't know, you say, is it Mattei, Mattei, am I saying it wrong, am I saying it right? But uh, he he was the director on this too, so that'd be pretty cool. I really liked that Emmanuel Emmanuel and uh, movie that I thought that was. I I just always think like people in a jungle like how can they do that? Like I don't even like want to go outside in my bare feet because of I'm afraid of like a tick. They're out in the fucking jungle in water, like that's crazy stuff. But I have a few more things here from Chiller, and they're all pretty much related to one person. Okay, this one's not related to that person, but it's the only other one besides what's all in the stack that is. Um, but this is from Cam Motion Pictures, a DVD actually of Splatter Farm, the retro 80s horror collection. I love these retro 80 ones. They have like the video violence one and two, uh, Camp Can or Can Cannibal Camp Out, um, Ghoul School, Woodchipper Massacre, and those are all kind of pricey on, on VHS, so Next best thing you get is this, uh, you know, they're cheap, and uh, they serve a purpose. There's, uh, like, I don't know, that sounded weird, but they're worth it, I think. I think they're worth getting, and, and they're just good cheese, old cheese. I haven't watched this one yet, but I've seen all those other ones I mentioned, and, and you know, that's why I got this, because I think they're just so cool, like the additions, especially camp motion pictures. They put out some, some good shit. 
so it was splatter farm and this and because it was at the same booth technically uh and and again the people from Cambodia pictures are always very nice to me uh they remember me every time i go up there you know and it's true it's not like oh hey well yeah i know you it's it, they legit do because they mentioned my videos but uh this these next bunch here are all from Henrik Kuto who you know is a buddy of mine and he makes movies and you know I upgraded some of his movies and got a few that I didn't have like this one's a very early one of his Marty Jenkins and the Vampire Bitches yeah it, it's a pretty crazy name it's definitely uh, gonna get your attention but uh, I, I, I said in a recent video that I'm sick of vampire movies but it's my buddy and uh, you know I like pretty much every one of his movies some more than others but um, you know this I had to get it and, and it's on DVD whatever but uh, you know check it out and he did sign all these uh, the next one here is depression the movie this is another earlier one of his and then these are all on blu-ray they have a blu-ray DVD combo in it so there you go so there's that and then there's this one called making out and uh, you know he usually puts the same people in all his movies and uh, it's good because I like them <laughs> but you got the DVD blu-ray combo in there and then um, you got this one calamity Jane's revenge which I've done a review I've done a review on this one I did a review on, on some of these uh, but what's his name is in this uh, Al Snow is in this it's kind of crazy but yeah you got the limited edition DVD and blu-ray combo of that pretty cool <laughs> and then uh, the next one here you got nothing good ever happens blu-ray DVD combo this is my favorite one that he put out that Henrik put out um, it's like a dark comedy and it really kind of like at least for me it speaks to me on certain levels but like I said DVD blu-ray combo very cool um, I don't think any of these have a reversible artwork but here we got uh, the blu-ray DVD combo three disc collectors edition of awkward Thanksgiving which is pretty cool too uh, disc one and two uh, blu-ray and DVD and then the disc three is the full-length documentary I gotta show you these is that one the blu-ray is it not gonna flip it's not gonna flip and the DVD and then here is the documentary wishboner <laughs> and there he is in a, in a suit which he may or may not still have as he told me which I would keep it and this this is a, a movie that actually was in Walmart and everything like this and uh, distributed and stuff it's a Christmas movie it's a bulldog for Christmas and uh, I haven't got a chance to watch this but I've watched the trailer and it looked it looks really like a, a good time a lot of fun but uh, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo is out of that as well. <laughs> Look at that face. And this is the last one of this stack. And this one is also from, uh, like I said, Henrik. And he just put this one out. Uh, this is from Cam Motion Pictures. I have this on VHS. I have it on DVD. I, this is an, probably probably my second favorite of his, I'd have to say. Um, but this Babysitter Massacre. Now this is the reversed artwork here and uh he was doing a special thing this dvd blu-ray combo and on the back has all the signatures and this is number 46 out of 100 very very cool and this does have the reverse artwork but the dvd and blu-ray inside and then the original artwork right there which i, I like them both i like them both um it's very cool and he is going to be having other ones come out on blu-ray so i'm looking forward to getting them when they come out and i will always support him he's not only like my friend he's a great dude he's a uh, great director and uh you know he's a he's a good friend so um i'm i'm proud to support him but that's everything i got i'm sorry it took so long to show everybody what i got from chiller and uh you know i've been kind of slowing down with getting stuff lately because I've accumulated too much and I'm probably getting rid of things nothing that you see here but I'm probably gonna be getting rid of things and uh, just gotta make either make room for stuff that I really want or just minimalize, minimize you know minimalist 
Ick ist. Yeah. So yeah, let me know what one you thought was the best one. And for all those that are only all about VHS, I'm sorry there was so much Blu-ray, but I'm not sorry. I'm not, because these are awesome movies. Um, and I mean, I hope they are. I bought them. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye.